Hey guys, welcome to another commentary done by Diggity. Upper left hand corner, we have React starting as the yellow Protoss. Upper right corner, we have Kiko starting as the red Terran. And I'm realizing I'm going to have to do a quick little, we'll do this on the fly. React has two games. Update that score. If React wins this, he will advance to the BSL Season 14 Hasu League Finals. If Kiko wins, we will move on to a Game 5. And this is on Turbine, which I will reveal because we have not seen it in a while. We got the interesting Turbine in the middle. Low ground third. But free natural expansion. Oops. Free natural expansion interior to the base. The way this plays out, I almost feel like what happens is, is it plays very well for Terran earlier in the game. Because you can get siege tanks that can deny that mineral only. You've got that free second base where you don't have to worry about harassment as much. But as the game progresses, if you are able to get to carrier tech, there are just a lot of features to abuse, a lot of area to fly around. So if you can get yourself that time to get into carriers, you can play very, very strong late game as Protoss. And Honestly, with Kiko, we'll see if Kiko opts to play. I think it might have been his choice on this map. If he plays more aggressive, I have a feeling it'll be a quicker match. However, if he opts to play more passively, as we've seen, going for more the macro style, I would not be shocked to see React take a match in advance to the finals. Might be a bit confused. Might be, uh, yeah, I think he might be unfamiliar with this map altogether. Or he might be going for something sneaky. We'll see one way or the other. No, I think he just is unfamiliar with this map, was Kiko's choice, because he's not able to find Kiko's third. We saw something similar happen in Race Wars, I believe, with Artosis. Cybernetic score plopping down no f initial, well, see, once the minerals are in place to do so. No zealot being produced. Kiko getting scout inside React space. Yeah, React now finding this additional base, but he actually is potentially gonna get sealed out Interesting lift of the barracks. I think that was a bit of a mistake right there overall. So Supply Depot barracks into Command Center to follow. The other thing on this map is I feel like early Reavers, pretty important. React still having trouble finding this third. Yeah, this is gonna be a detriment just cause he's not even gonna be able to find the base. First Dragoon being produced, SAV doing attack of damage there. And now it's too late. That front door is sealed. Might be able to do some harassment over the wall, but coming across the gigantic radio tower dish to... Never mind, wasn't a complete seal by Kiko. So despite... <laughs> lifted the barracks, moved it a bit out of position. So despite... Despite all of that time, at three minutes and what, 22 seconds? The probe able to slot in, confirm, and sneak back out. Range being upgraded. Looks like that SCV exiting the base in between. A Dragoon marching out. And I gotta feel like the way React's playing right now, it just feels like a little bit of scattered confusion overall. Second expansion up, factory on the way. See if this Dragoon opts to be aggressive. One issue is it is kind of awkward putting a, any sort of bunker right here. The Marines actually walking down. Three Marines does beat a Dragoon, so looking to engage right there. SCV sneaking back across. It's actually going to distract the second Dragoon. And this is unfortunate for React because I don't think he realized... Because he it wasn't his map pick... I'm not sure that he realized he had this free nexus here. So now just kind of discovering the map architecture. Let's see if he can recover. But that is giving Kiko early advantages. As far as knowing to go ahead and grab this protected inside natural expansion, that's giving him a big economic boost early. So his second base is up much, much earlier. Two Dragoons starting to press forward, but potentially going to get greeted by a siege tank. They do have, I believe, range finished. I don't think range was canceled. We got robotic facility on the way. 
This is only four Marines. Fifth Marine being produced. So Kiko once again. Playing a little bit thin. Double machine shot being dropped now. So I'm wondering if we are going to see... Here's the thing. It's double machine shot, but it's off two bases. I'm expecting maybe some sort of tank timing out of this. With a vulture follow-up. But we aren't seeing, looks like we're not quite yet seeing uh, Vulture Speed being, or sorry, we see Vulture Speed, but not Vulture Mines being upgraded. Three gateways now on the front. Observatory being added on. There should be an Observer to potentially deal with Mines. There's a Mine upgrade. So Kiko wants to go get aggressive as far as a brief follow-up timing attack. For a second there, I thought that Siege Tank might be blockaded by his own SCVs. Seeing the moving out now. Gonna press forward at the very least. Whoa, that Siege... The two Siege Tanks not with this. So it's ending up with advantageous engagements, except that Dragoon glitching out to the south. And getting wiped out. And feels like both players playing a little bit sloppy here. Five Dragoons in position to potentially engage this. They're coming in single file, so React having opportunities to go ahead and assail and push this back. The Vultures trying to stream by, are getting mines down. One mine taken out, the second mine lands in the back line of Dragoons, but the Marines being wiped out. Three Dragoons left versus three Siege Tanks and more Vultures coming. Reinforcements sweeping from the north. And now Kiko holding the low ground outside of React's base. Gonna go ahead and back out from here. Just gonna wait at this stage. Third factory being dropped. Yeah, I'm not sure. I was kind of confused, honestly, to see Kiko opt to do a follow-up attack. I guess what he just wanted is positional control so he can get that third command center up rapidly. Dragoons wiping out the creep colony so they can go ahead and retake the third base. A cannon being warped towards the natural just in case Vultures are able to sweep by. As if you just kind of hang out to the south. Several mines drop, but the Observer and Dragoons going to go ahead and clear the rest of that out. So an attack towards the front, able to wipe out a handful of troops, but not able to stop React from retaking that third. Third base in construction. Dragoons cutting off vultures as they're sweeping in from the north, and it looks like React may be wanting to apply pressure here. More, vo more, vo more vultures sweeping across a cannon not yet in place, but there are zealots waiting on the ramp. I kind of like React doing this. He's like, okay, I'm just going to put some defensive cannons. That's going to open up the aggression. And here's the thing with Dragoons in range and sight over that wall. They can really disrupt that third base. But right now, Kiko with a sizable economic lead. A lot of idle SCVs behind this, though. Actually lifted off one of his... Odd play here. Lifted off one of his factories to drop another machine shop. Maybe he's going to plop down another one. So now we're moving into... Maybe just to get better troop movement positioning here. I think both players are somewhat unfamiliar with this map. A lot of floating buildings to deal with what... I think he was expecting a Reaver at some point, but no Reaver from React at all. Again, I think potentially due to unfamiliarity with this map. Instead, sticking to gateway units. Supply count's just about even. Bunker siege tanks alongside. It looks like we are seeing a dropship start making its way out. And Kiko just guarding. I think he realizes he's got a really strong position in this map, just guarding every additional expansion. SCV with Mineral is going to be able to confirm that the third and its construction is underway. The Siege Shank and Vultures could potentially do a lot of damage in this back alley. See if Kiko is able to capitalize on that. Still sitting at three factories. Looks like he's actually tacking on an additional two to the corner. Observer is going to go ahead and wander in, get a good look 
at the factory count. And yeah, I think this you can tell that there's just very much an unfamiliarity with this map overall. Where did the drop land? Did I lose? Okay, there it is. Because I don't see any movement towards... There's Templar Archives, but it looks like it's just going to go to Arbiter Tech with Double Forge behind this. Which, honestly, I don't... I don't know that it's going to be sufficient here. Single Vulture dropping, second Vulture dropping, and a tank at the main sieging up, so additional economic damage going to be wreaked. Oh, huge probe shot right there. Nine probes with... Was that a single shot and nine probes? That looked like it. 11 kills overall. Decent economic damage there. And Kiko, honestly, with what he's got, could press these Dragoons back. Go ahead and siege up along this in interior wall and shell react over the edge. He's, I believe, got the troop count lead, the economic lead, positional lead. It looks like he's tacking on a lot of additional factories. Maybe he's going to wait for plus one weapons here. Dragoon sweeping to the south to at least engage vultures right there. A probe was in position to maybe grab a quick fourth, but SCV kill denied to the vulture there. Give the SCVs the kills when they want them. They're here. They're they're part of the army too. Kiko grabbing his fourth. Double forge upgrades running. And react again. Yeah, I don't like arbiters on this map, but opting for arbiters nevertheless. I think just going for typical practice play, losing a dragoon to the mine as he's trying to march up into the nine o'clock location. But if things settle out, and if Kiko opts to get aggressive, which I'm waiting for him to do, I think he can still, again, wreak a lot of havoc over that wall. Right now, he's actually up in supply. So has a stronger army. See if he's able to capitalize on it. Another siege tank dropped to the north. I'm not sure that he got a lot out of that. There's... Additional cannons to go ahead and engage. It looks like they're doing some damage to the dropship, so not a lot out of this continuation drop. Some vultures waiting in the wings to maybe pounce on this. So Kiko actually... Playing more economically defensively, and usually I'd say he was going to pay for it, but instead... Now React moving in with a gr grouping of Dragoons just walking in to disrupt this fort. Some Siege Shanks going to follow up. So the command center will stand. These Dragoons are certainly going to lose their lives. I don't know that... The, yeah, the rest of these Dragoons are going to have to retreat. But still a decent amount of disruption at the 4th. Vulture's also able to counter-sweep. Let's see if they're able to take out that Nexus. At the 9 o'clock, it's going to be a while before reinforcements can get there. They're chewing through the shields fairly... Well, chewing through... I'm not sure what to call this. The warp? The glaze? The glaze, I guess. Working through the pre-whatever-you-want-to-call-that fairly rapidly. Which, even if these Dragoons come in and rescue this Nexus, that's going to leave that Nexus very low on hit points and potentially exposed down the line. Kiko up 40 supply now. A huge siege tank army. I feel like you could just end the game right here if you wanted to. All sorts of factories in the background. Unseaging potentially to do so. Yeah, if he just sieges along that line, that will be game. Nexus severely battered, coming online at the 9 o'clock location. And now Kiko on the move. First Arbiter not yet finished. Stasis not yet upgraded. Kiko, again, still 40 supply up. Plus one weapons, plus one armor. I'm wondering if plus two weapons is going to... No, plus two weapons is a ways off. Vultures catching some probes as they're transferring. But I'm not sure that matters. And Kiko actually just going in... So rather than using the defensive backline wall... Okay, never mind. Now he's got some siege tanks sieging in the backline wall. Certainly going to be able to take this Nexus out. Maybe going to lose troops to this... Along this southern flank. As all of React's troops to the south. React looks like he's just going to try to opt for a counterattack. There's a bit of a Sim City To try to defend that, but not a lot of siege tanks there otherwise. Arbiter... 
taking the field it looks like kiko upon realizing that nexus is empty and exposed is going to try to mirror react's army and get back and potentially defend his third comp setting yet is trying to keep eyes on that leaving a few a handful of troops to go ahead and take this nexus out pylon wall there at the nine o'clock location to try to defend that ex expansion but right right now kiko just bowling away the map i like that he's got i want to see vultures rather than scvs but going ahead and camping out at additional expansions as well making sure that react didn't sneak anything out big economic lead for him tank sieging up science vessel down but it doesn't matter the arbiter isn't here Handful of Dragoons and Zealots getting cleared out along with that. The Nexus only remains of it visible. Dragoons sneaking in from the north, but Vultures slipping through, finding a pocket where there are not cannons to the south, and again continuing to deal some good economic damage. Zealots finally cleaning up these siege tanks to the south, eating a good amount of mines, though, along the way. Probes actually in transfer running into a vulture who briefly able to get a kill or two. So right now, the main just about mined out. The natural expansion is still looking pretty healthy. Same deal for Kiko. He's grabbing a third base to go up to potentially five mining bases. 40 supply lead. And a good amount of factories scattered kind of in odd positionings all around his base. Level 2 weapons, level 1 armor as well. React trying to rebuild that natural mineral only. I'm not sure what to call this because technically this is the natural. So this is like the third base, but it's a mineral only as well. Kiko having a very exposed base to the south. It's possible that React could jump and take that out with a quick aggressive play a lot of mines and turrets to potentially defend against a recall to the north recall just now starting to upgrade as far as upgrades go though we act actually with an upgrade lead level three weapons level two armor off the double forge. So doing very good job of doing that, which he's gonna need because he's down a lot of supply. Kiko about to hit 200. And I have to say what this, what feels like the story of this match to me is, is that React is just not accustomed to this map in particular. And so he's, it almost feels like he's been floundering and been a bit, bit frustrated as far as what he needs to do. where he needs to attack, what the actual architecture is. Arbiters with a good amount of energy maybe could get a killer recall, but as things stand, Kiko up 50 supply is starting to move out and get aggressive. Siege tanks, vultures, goliaths, and science vessels alongside with EMPs to spare. He's got a base that's not saturated that he can take in the very near future. So React gonna have to rely on his upgrade advantage. This is kind of the story of Turbine. You gotta be very, very careful marching up. Tank sieging over the ledge. Zealots moving forward. Big EMP hitting both Arbiters. The Zealot force getting thinned out. React does have the high ground, but Kiko able to shell from a distance. Conti Kiko continuing to barrel forth. And it looks like, yeah, I think that EMP also hit the High Templar, which means there was no EMP to support with that this attack. Kiko still with a huge 178 supply versus 125. Yeah, he can just end it at this stage if he wants to. Just move up, get aggressive. Right now, he's comp setting, making sure additional bases weren't snuck, I believe. Just trying to get eyes on the army as well. Just taking up the high ground on this northern spoke. Has a little bit of vision on these southern exit points. But continuing to push forward to once again 
Assault the low brown mineral only. Vulture's dropping some mines here to the south. Siege tanks grouping up, shelling over that wall, and this just is a terrible attack position to move into. For React, this army looks like it... I mean, he has to engage this because he needs to keep that base up. Another great EMP catches one of the Arbiters, misses the second. Not quite enough energy for a stasis yet. Does manage to get a side storm on the forward troop line. Nice stasis catching three siege tanks, but there's GG from React. He just realizes he yeah, doesn't have enough to deal with what Kiko's throwing out there. So now we are going to go on to a game five to decide it all to see who advances to the Hasu League Finals and who is eliminated from this season. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for listening.